Okay, here's another quick update video. Um, the last one I showed was looking from this way, so I'm doing it from here again from the dining room. Just looking back, I've got the uh, the new back door here um, that I put in a couple of days ago. Uh, it's got the nice handy little, uh, I lift this thing up, you can see it drops the blinds down. Um, I love that, it's so cool. Got the little blinds between the glass, so i to make that nice. Um, I got the closet over here. The closet door used to be over on this side, and I moved it over to this side, so um, uh, it just makes it a little smaller opening, but it's not, you know, you can't really see it from the kitchen that way. It's not, it just looked weird. Plus, I had these crappy louvered doors. Go back and look at the other video if you want to see that. So, um, and I also put a switch in here so that when you open the door, it automatically turns the light on. So, handy dandy, I love it. Um, so I still gotta get that all drywalled. Um, well, all of it still. Um, I've got the cement board down on um, on the plywood on most of it, except this back here. I've still gotta do a little bit back there, but uh, I'll get that tomorrow night after work. Um, you can see I got all the electrical wiring done. I've got the vent put in up here. I've got the new window put in. It looks really, really crooked because this used to be a porch, so all the two by fours and everything in here are really angled it was at like a seven or eight degree angle so when i leveled that window and put it in there standing over here and looking at it just it's crazy um but i got all the insulation done yesterday i noticed that this outside wall from the floor to the ceiling was an inch and a half out leaning out at the top so i went ahead and put all these spacers in there uh so that when i put the drywall in um the, the wall will actually be level and I won't have a weird funky line over there. Eventually I'm going to put uh, subway tiles on part of the wall and that would have looked horrible if the, if, the, uh, uh, if, the, if the wall wasn't level with the plumb, I guess. Um, let's see, over here I've got, uh, I've got that door, I've got um, electrical wiring over there. I went ahead and put an outlet in down there. That outlet down there, there's a little cubby hole there. I always thought that would be nice to have a little wine cabinet down there, or a wine wine refrigerator. And if I could find one that fits down there, it's actually a really narrow space. So I don't know if I could find anything that fits decent or not, but if I do, I've got the outlet down there now so I can plug that in. Um, I've got back here, I've got, this is actually a motion sensitive uh, light switch. Although it's, uh, with the kitchen being right over here, it actually goes off too easily while we're in the kitchen. So I've got it set so that you can just go in here and touch it to turn, turn it on, but then you don't have to shut it off. After there's no movement back here for one minute, it shuts off automatically. Um, I also put a light switch in. There's a light up in there for the outside. And then up in, on the other side, I've got, this is a switch over here for another light that we've got outside that's a motion activated light. And we thought if we were ever wanting to sit in the backyard, we want to shut that off. So I went ahead and wired that switch in too. Um, over here I've got the switch, you know, for the light in here and then the fan. And then I'm also going to have a box in over here beside that for the thermostat uh, for the floor. I'm going to put a little floor heat thing in here. I've got the, I'm gonna have the toilet over here. Actually, you can see where the pedestal is for the sink. I've got the pipes coming up through the floor over here. So I wanted to make sure I had everything set right before I put the cement board in there. Uh, but I'm going to have that little floor warming area you know it's just like a little area under the floor under the tile to warm that part of the floor and it's only a two foot by three foot um, but uh, once I have that in there the thermostat will be up here on the wall to help keep it warm back here plus with all the new insulation and um, I got super nice insulation up in, in the ceiling I got that all put in last night and um, I don't know it's it's coming along so Everybody wanted to see what was going on, and so here's here's what I got. So um, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> I'll uh, have more to show in a few days. Bye bye.